Morgan, Center for Harding Marlin, coming to you from the Cayman Islands. This video is going to talk about chat GTP and the impact it's going to have on the investor immigration industry going forward. So as some of you have probably already know, chat GTP is an artificial intelligence chat box where you can ask it just about any question and it will come up with a detailed answer in a matter of seconds. So it's really, as we've seen in the news, the chat GTP has passed medical licensing exams, uh, lawyer licensing exams, university level essays and more and a lot of universities are trying to reevaluate and rethink how they're going to do testing of students in the future because chat gtp is used for students to complete assignments and so this will change the way people do research and will change a lot of industries so the investor immigration industry involves citizenship by investment residency by investment and relocation services so we touch a lot about this in different videos on this channel where we talk about citizenship by investment programs that are available and different residency by investment options. So to summarize really quickly, there's a lot of benefits to doing citizenship and residency. Uh, for example, you have the right to live, the right to work, and uh, potentially like the, the right to travel. As well, if you've done citizenship by investment, you have access to more visa-free travel. So you have more travel opportunities as a result of getting a second passport. So basically, um, I've gone on and I've asked frequently asked questions in the investor immigration industry to test out chat GTP to see if the what the answers are and if the answers are accurate. And so I've noted quite a few shortfalls, which I think the shortfalls will be addressed in the future. So right now, um, by testing chat GTP with frequently asked questions, some of the shortfalls I see is that a lot of the information is not up to date because there's a cutoff date with chat GDP and with the investment immigration industry it's constantly evolving there's constant changes so there's changes to prices there's changes to requirements there's changes um, to how the applications are processed and so chat GDP doesn't have the capacity at the moment to pro uh, to provide information the new updated information so this is one of the, the short followings I've seen but if you ask it you know if you ask it, I'm interested in a country that has mountains, that has beaches, that has lots of nature, you know, it'll come up with suggested answers of countries that could potentially be of interest to you. Um, what I thought was interesting, like if you ask it, like what are the best citizenship by investment programs, they often will cite Malta and St. Kitts and Nevis, which it's true, they are top quality citizenship by investment programs, but might not necessarily be the best for your particular case. Um, so I think as chat GPP evolves in the future, uh, that it'll be able to give you more recommendations in regards to what is best uh, the citizenship by investment or residency by investment program for you. So how I think it's going to impact the industry going forward is that there will be a lot more less people that are generalists uh, as opposed and there'll be more like people that will be focused on specialists. So those people who base their business off a consultation model um, so a lot of the times people have trouble identifying what citizenship by investment or residency by investment program is based is best for them. There's a lot of information on the web and uh, so consultants sometimes will provide you with free information and or provide you with information um, like condensed version of information and I think that chat GTP will sort of eliminate those people who have generalist businesses that are just consultants and there'll be more emphasis on those people that have boots on the ground that are service providers and that are capable of executing. So someone who's a local agent or someone that has a physical presence based on the ground with specialized knowledge, um, I think that they their businesses will thrive in the future as opposed to just generalists in the investment immigration industry. Although I'd be curious to know what your thoughts are on how this revolutionary technology is going to impact citizenship by investment, residency by investment, the investment immigration industry and other in industries in the future. All the best, bye for now.